assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic we are going to discuss today it is the magnesium silicate and the asbestos mainly when we have a simple look on the asbestos and the magnesium silicates these are mainly the compounds of silicon when the silicon reacts with the oxygen and along with the metals like magnesium calcium aluminum and sodium it just make the compounds these compounds are mainly known as the silicates as we are going to talk about here the magnesium silicates it's mean both silicon and oxygen will reacts with the magnesium and they make the silicate which is known as the magnesium silicate on the other hand when we have both oxygen and silicon they reacts with both magnesium and calcium then the resulting silicate we have it is calcium magnesium silicate or it is known as the asbestos so this is the type of second and third type of the silicates here we have the picture of the magnesium silicate in which which is in the presence of white powder form as it is a crystalline solid that is having the properties like a salt of silicon so let's have a look on its first type of the silicate which is known as the magnesium silicate so when we have a simple formula of the magnesium silicate it is the magnesium ions surrounded the silicon trioxide or simple formula here we have for the magnesium silicate is mg3 in which the three magnesium attached to the two hydrogen atoms with the silicon trioxide as its four so this is the simple formula for the magnesium silicate as a silicate of magnesium and the main common name that is used for the magnesium silicate it is known as talc or it is also used as the soapstone so the two names has been advised by scientists for the magnesium silicate in which the first one is talc and the second one we have it is a soapstone so here we have a lot of properties of the magnesium silicate mainly magnesium silicate physically it is greasy in touch so this is the first property as it is greasy in touch when one just touch that it is having some greasy like feeling on the other hand the magnesium silicate has been widely used by different methods in a different facility facilitable products and what are these products let's discuss that what are the main uses of the magnesium first one it is used in making the cosmetics what type of cosmetics it may be any type of like may be used in the lipsticks it is used in the manufacturing of the nail paints it may be used in the different forms of powders so this is its main use as we also use that the talcum powder so magnesium silicate is used in all that on the other hand it is also used in making the household articles now what type of household articles magnesium silicate as it is having the appearance like white crystalline solid so it is useful in the production of the many articles that has been used in our houses for a long time so let's discuss what are these articles it is also used as a talcum powder the powder that is used in the houses as it was also used as a baby powder on the other hand the magnesium silicates are also used as the lubricants so why they are used as the lubricants the reason is this because they have greasy touch so that's why they are also used as the lubricants along with that magnesium silicates are also used as the food preservatives and along with they are also used as dietary supplements as they have use 
in our daily life and in in this way we just use the magnesium silicates in our daily life on a regular basis on the other hand it is also used as for the production of the antacid antacid it is the chemical which is used to reduce the acidity of the stomach basically to reduce the acidity of stomach we have the milk of magnesia which is having the formula of magnesium hydroxide so this is the use of the simple magnesium silicate after that we have the third type of the silicates which is asbestos as asbestos it is hydrated calcium magnesium silicate so in this we have both calcium and magnesium along with the silicon and oxygen so it is the main compound that is formed by the silicon here we have calcium magnesium and silicon trioxide as its four members on the other hand asbestos it is mainly a naturally occurring fibrous silicates it is also known as the fibrous silicate so this is also the naturally occurring compound on the other hand if we have the asbestos there are mainly its six types and all of which are generally made up of long and thin fibers crystals so they are also known as fibrils and what are the main uses of the asbestos it is used in making incombustible fabrics and hardwood its mean it is used as for the fire protective or the fire resistance textile or the fabrics on the other hand it is also used in the making of the hard boards so there are wide ranges of manufacturing of the different goods where we can use the asbestos it is used for the roofing along with it is also used for the ceiling purpose it is used as the floor tiles how it can be used as a floor tiles because it is used in making the hard boards on the other hand asbestos is also used in the cement production so cement production it is a very strong compound when it get mixed with the water on the other hand it is also used in all the compounds that produces the friction products like it is used in the making of the brakes and it is also used in the manufacturing of the clutch so all these are the uses of the asbestos in our daily life i hope you guys understand about the topic and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon and the next topic we are going to discuss it is the aluminum silicate and its properties this is the last type of silicate i hope you guys just enjoy the topic and if you have any queries you may ask me about that for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day